pretty much as soon as we arrive on this planet, we start picking things up and shoving them in our mouths, tasting and wanting to eat everything. And we pick up a lot of beliefs from our very earliest days, the beliefs of our caregivers, the beliefs of our culture, our faith culture, our peers at school, our siblings. And some of those beliefs are really helpful and some of them are harmful from the beginning. A lot of them are helpful for a while in coping with childhood and early adulthood, but then we get to a point where we find they're not helpful at all. We need to let go of them. And, um, but it's hard because they're so deeply rooted and we've never challenged them as um, being possibly not fat. We've just taken them on and, and uh, assumed that they were correct assessments of who we are. It's really our job and nobody can do it for us to, um, to examine, to lay it all out on the table and to start to become aware of the thoughts and beliefs that are driving our emotions and, and affecting our interactions with people and our families and our friendships and our work and the whole world. And it's hard to get yourself to do painful, uncomfortable work on yourself when you don't even really believe in yourself. A couple years ago, I just started becoming really painfully aware of these common narratives that I heard from so many people. Things like, I'm too much, I'm inherently too much for people. I'm not enough, I can never be enough. Um, I'm a victim to circumstances of life, to health problems, to everybody. Everybody's against me. Um, my past, I can't escape it. It is literally defining me. My emotions and my thoughts are so much that they really are me. They're not a separate thing for me. And they, all of these things I could see were leading people away from life, leading me away from freedom and life. And so I just wanted to write a song that could be um, a voice of truth, reflect the inner voice of love that we all need to be cultivating for ourselves. Our own voice needs to match the voice of God within us saying, you are worth it, you are enough, you are absolutely adored and beloved. It never hurts to have another voice outside of you mirroring back the truth, especially on those days when you just can't find it for yourself. And I've had plenty of those days. So I wrote this song, Pacific, to, to speak over people, what's true about them, how beautiful, how marvelous we are and how capable of adding beauty and life to this world. The song is for you, the song is for me, as is always the case. May we uh, get closer and closer to seeing ourselves in the light of reality, which is more beautiful than we've ever imagined.